혹시 증여 해지를 노리고 폭행을 유도한 것은 아닙니까? 그렇다는 증거 있습니까? 잘했어. 에피소드 4 starts with three brothers having disagreement in a land inheritance from their father. The two eldest brothers try to pressure their younger brother to divide the inheritance according to the law. The eldest has to get 50% of the land's worth, 30% for the second and only 20% for the youngest, whom the land is given and named to by their father. They manage let the latter signs the memorandum. The consequence backfired the youngest since aside from getting the least amount of the inheritance, he has to pay the property tax. The tax is seemingly high and after the youngest takes his share of the inheritance and pays the tax, he ends up having a debt of 260 million won. The youngest brother happens to be Girami's father. Girami asks her best friend Young Wu, who quit her job and considers herself no longer an attorney. To help her family and stop the injustice. Together with Young Wu's father, they go and check the memorandum the three brothers signed. It is revealed that Young Wu was bullied back in school. Girami became her protector from the bullying and they turned up to be close friends. Young Wu reads the memorandum and confirms that it really makes Dong Sam, Rami's father, in disadvantaged position. Dong Sam shares what his brother told him about the inheritance law. Young Wu states that the law has been revised after Dong Sam's father's death. The new inheritance law states that all children should receive equal amounts of inheritance regardless of birth order, gender, and marital status. This means Dong Sam can take back his expression of will, due to fraud since the other brothers deceives their youngest, telling the outdated inheritance law. Dong Sam has to sue his two brothers to take back his inheritance. After Young Wu makes her recommendation, Rami goes to the law firm and talks to attorney Myung Sok. The senior attorney thinks his chances of winning are very slim and will be very difficult to prove that it's a deception. Myung Sok hasn't actually processed Young Wu's resignation yet. He let her handle the case and asks her to come back to work. He will be with her in the court being a senior attorney but will not help with the case. Jun Hu talks to Young Wu asking about the gift he left on her desk. Young Wu throws it away since she doesn't know whom did it come from. On the day of the hearing, the two elder brothers deny the deception they made to their younger brother. Young Wu's party has to look for a proof or a witness to prove the deception. Dong Sam and his wife remember Ji Yok, the head of their village, might had eavesdropped the three siblings' conversation. Ji Yuk then confirms that he was able to hear them talking about the inheritance law. Their family together with Young Wu are glad to find a witness. The next hearing at the court, Ji Yuk takes the witness stand but he claims he didn't hear anything. It seems like the brothers bribed Ji Yuk to falsify his statement. During the death anniversary of their father, the three brothers end up fighting. That results to Dong Sam and Rami's physical injuries. Young Wu uses the incident to cancel the gift contract made by her client. Only to find out, this was the plan Young Wu had in mind to make the situation be in their side. At the office, Jun Hu surprises Young Wu with a huge painting of whale in the wall. She is overjoyed while Jun Hu contentedly looks at her. The two brothers kneel and ask for forgiveness to Dong Sam. He decides to split the inheritance equally after the deduction of the tax. After winning the case, Young Wu regains her confidence and passion of returning to work. She asks Mi Young Sok not to process her resignation and happily dances on her office. Few months ago, Han Sun Young shows up at Guang Ho's restaurant and convinces him to send his daughter to work at Han Bada Law Firm. As she goes home, she notes Young Wu resembles to her mother and her face becomes serious. What is her plan making Young Wu work in her law firm? Let's find out in the next episode. It's nice to see Jun Hu's growing feelings to Young Wu. I hope the writers will give them more scenes together. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Mm -hmm.